what's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a sad effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So I have Sony Vegas up and hopefully you enjoyed the little mini short film at the start. Um, this is the clip where I open up the pizza box and I get all sad. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find, I open the pizza there and then I get sad here. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it. So we're going to be working with this clip. This clip right here is going to stay the same. So the first thing, of course, for sad effect, we're going to add some black and white. So we're going to head over to video effects. If you don't see it, simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. And from video effects, as you can see, it says black and white. And we're going to drag on 100% black and white onto this clip we split. As you can see, the video is now black and white. Now what it's going to do at the moment, it's going to go straight from color to black and white like that. If you want it to slowly blend into black and white, we're going to select the animation button here. And at the first keyframe, you're going to select it and we're going to turn this blend amount to zero. So the color's back. Now make sure sync cursor is checked and come across on your timeline. And I'm going to put it where my hands on my face like that. And I'm going to make it go black and white. So I'm going to come to the blend amount and turn it all the way back up. You'll see here, another keyframe has been created. The first keyframe has nothing. The second keyframe has everything. The black and white part is now done. Now the next thing, music. Music is the main thing. I believe music will give you the best feel of anything. So this is the music I am using. Um, download link to this will be in the description. And I got this off YouTube, it's royalty free. And as you can see the build up or the main part is right here. So I'm going to cut this and then this part right here is considered a sort of drop in the piano. So once it's full black and white, which is right here, that's when I want this to kick in. So right there, and I'm going to fade this in. So now what we've added so far is a black and white fading in and also this music. So if I just play this through, actually I forgot to trim the rest down here. There we go and trim this down here. So if I play this through now, this is what we have. Okay, so you get the idea, it's pretty simple. Next thing we can do, maybe add a zoom into the face. So maybe a slow zoom. So I'm gonna to come to the end keyframe here, come to the event pan and crop, and I'm simply going to have size about center checked and lock aspect ratio checked, and I'm gonna zoom into my face. Like this, there we go. And uh, if I quickly play this through now, you'll see we're gonna slowly zoom into our face. And then one last effect I recommend. Remember the video you saw at the start? I know I'm not editing all of that right now, but of course the purpose of me being sad in this specific video was because there was no pizza left in the box. So that video where I opened up the box, I'm just gonna get to the part where I open it, which is right here, and play this. And I'm gonna press S on my keyboard to delete the remaining. Now what we're gonna do is use this as an overlay. So I'm gonna play this through a bit. Now right here, I'm going to press M on my keyboard to lay down a marker, and this is where this video is going to come into it. So I'm going to press U here to get rid of this audio, and I'm going to right click and insert another video track so it's above. And I'm going to drag this video right here. All I'm going to do is turn down the opacity from here. I believe people who are in Vegas Pro 12 or 11 and below, you won't be able to change the opacity directly from here. If that's the case, come over to the side and just change it here. So I'm going to change this to, let's see, 50%. Now as you'll see, this gives us a great effect. It's got the music, got the black and white, we got the zoom, and we got the overlay, so it's like a flashback. So the final time, let's play this through.
And just like that, that is how you create a sad effect. One thing you can add here is maybe a fade in. And uh, once I open up the pizza box right here, press S on my keyboard, extend this all the way out so it's slow motion, add another fade out, and this is what we get. and that looks so much more better. But that is how simple it is to create a sad effect in Sony Vegas. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.